you feel like crying over the smallest inconvenience, devouring the entirety of your fridge, or just straight up out of energy to complete the simplest tasks right before your period, it is completely normal to not quite feel like yourself around the start of our menstrual cycles. But sometimes these shifts can feel a little out of hand and start to really impact your daily life. In these circumstances, you could be experiencing premenstrual syndrome, PMS, or premenstrual dysphoric disorder, PMDD. They often get confused, so stay till the end of this video to learn more about these syndromes and see if you might be affected. You have enough going on before your period starts, so let us give you the information on how to best support yourself before your period. Hi, I'm Cynthia, and welcome to Real Talk with Sticks, where we cover all things sexual, vaginal, and reproductive health. Let's get back to PMS. Three out of four menstruating women have experienced some form of a premenstrual syndrome. For that lucky 25% who bleed with no pain and no problem, this video might not be for you. But for the rest of us, let's chat. Before our periods, we can feel bloated, our boobs can feel sore, and everyday tasks can leave us craving the bed or yet another salty snack. These are the noticeable symptoms of PMS, but PMS is caused by things that we don't notice. Yeah, I'm talking about hormones. The amount of hormones in our body changes through different phases of our menstrual cycle, and there's a huge change right before our period starts. PMS can also be caused by other chemical changes to our brains. With so much going on, I I can see why our bodies need to snooze our alarms a few more times than usual right before our periods. PMDD is like the evil stepsister of PMS. PMDD is severe and sometimes completely debilitating. Both PMS and PMDD have physical and emotional symptoms, but people with PMDD experience these symptoms in such an intense way, it can cause extreme mood shifts and daily routines and relationships may be damaged. While PMS may feel difficult to control, PMDD may feel impossible to control. PMDD can interrupt your daily function so much that it's actually listed as a mental health issue in the DSM-5, which is the main manual that doctors use to help diagnose mental health problems. And this is because PMDD can cause depression, suicidal feelings, and anxiety, which are quite serious. These symptoms generally begin about one to two weeks before the onset of your period and end a few days after you begin your period. PMS and PMDD can feel random. As I said, it's due to those cyclical changes in hormones, chemical changes in the brain, but it can also be impacted by various factors like depression, genetics, smoking, trauma, and stress. The symptoms of PMS and PMDD can feel unbearable, and you should know you're not alone, and no, you are not overreacting. These seemingly random shifts and changes in your mood and body can feel overwhelming because it is overwhelming. But luckily, there's treatment such as antidepressants, birth control pills, nutritional supplements, herbal remedies, diet and lifestyle changes, anti-inflammatory medication, and stress management. Besides pain management, it might be helpful to connect with other people who are experiencing the same symptoms of you. Sure, you might know a lot of people who get their periods, but seeing them bleed regularly without the same pain and symptoms can feel even more isolating. Seeking support, it's important. At Styx, we're here to support you with evidence-based information on our Real Talk blog and here on our YouTube channel. There's so much confusing and contradicting information online. So we're here to give you the best information in the easiest way possible. Many of us don't have access to great sex or health ed or information like this. So make sure to share this video with friends and family who you think would find it helpful. And besides information, we also have tools to help you learn more about your body and then how to best support it. We recommend tracking your ovulation cycle and checking your symptoms each day from ovulation until you actually have your period. This can help you know when you may begin to experience PMS symptoms so you can understand and mitigate those symptoms. The best way to track your ovulation it's with a Styx ovulation test. You can use this to determine when you start your ovulation cycle, and then you can track your symptoms from there. We're always here to support you with the information and products that you need to best understand your body. If you want to learn more about tracking your cycle, head over to Real Talk, where we break it down in even more detail. And you can always try one of our ovulation tests and get 15% off with the code YouTube. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit that like and bell. See you in the next class.